Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. And today we're going to talk about one of the features inside SynthEyes that isn't used as often, uh, but it's a pretty cool tool. And it's the Lights tab. And what the Lights tab can do is figure out your position of the lights in the scene. Today we're going to take a look at how we can set up our lights based on shadows. So for example, in this scene, you can see we have this pole here where we have this tracker up here that we had from our original track. So our 3D scene is solved. And I also added a tracker down here, which is the shadow from this location. And we're going to use these points to figure out the light position. So to do that, let's go over to the new light, add a new light. And underneath the light, we have an option for far away light. That's basically for sunlight. So if we click on this, this is going to figure out a directional light for the scene. Below that, we have the compute over frames. So it's either this frame, which would mean it's an animated light, or all frames or a lock. We're going to turn this to all. So we're going to use all frames to figure out where this location is in 3D space, and we don't want it animated. And after we do that, click on New Ray. Once we click on New Ray, you can see that the Source button here is highlighted. The source is the top of the pole. And then we have our target, which would be where the shadow is from that position which is right here. And once we do that, you can see we have a line show up with the direction of the light. And if we come over to the quad view, you can see here now we have a light in 3D space. Now right now, this is a directional light. If you're going into 3D software, that's probably all you need. But if you're going to go into something like Fusion or Nuke, uh, and you're looking to do shadows inside a compositing package, you may need to set this up so it's a spotlight. To do that, we can just turn off the far away light but once we do that, because we only have one ray, we have to tell SynthEyes what the distance is from the bottom of the ray. So we could just scale it up to wherever we think it could be. Or another option is to find another location where we can add a second ray, and that can triangulate the position of the light. So let's try that out now. So with our light one still selected, click on New Ray, and then we're going to go through the same process. So we have another source here, which is the end of this pole. And we have the corresponding shadow point right here. And once we do that, now that we have two trackers, we have triangulated the position. You can notice that this distance zeroed out. It's because we've triangulated the position of where that light would be for the light to cast shadows to match the scene. So that's just a quick overview of how you can use the Lights tab inside SynthEyes to help you figure out the position of your light in your 3D scene. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.